Welcome to the countdown with 23 days to Daytona. The clock is officially ticking. The tension is building and the pressure is mounting. The DGM team is about to be put to the test. The test of hardship, the test of passion, and finding victory. Today we find team owner Mario Goslin putting together the final preparations before hitting the track. <laughs> You gotta ask this. Obviously, you're. Daytona is founded on legacy. In order to win this race, it's going to require a lot of time and effort back at the shop. Team owner Mario Goslin is a racer himself, winning short track races across the nation throughout the 1990s. Daytona is such a huge event that even the DGM team put a digital clock in the race shop that will count down every second until the green flag will officially fly. Once NASCAR driver Kyle Weatherman arrived to the race shop, he referred to this clock as the countdown to doomsday. With 23 days remaining, there is so much preparation that still needs to be done. Now with every good team owner it comes the skill of building partnerships. As the countdown continues, we find NASCAR driver Kyle Weatherman and the DGM crew filming their first ever national TV commercial for Drive Smart Warren. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Mr. Duck, how you feeling? Obviously, this is the Duck of Drive Smart. He actually owns the whole company. Quack, quack. He came here, he said, quack, quack. quack, quack. So, uh, what are your thoughts behind the first ever Drive Smart warranty TV commercial? Quack, 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 quack. Any worries? Like, quack, 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 very confident, quack, quack. very confident. How do you feel about Daytona? Do you feel like that's a race that we're going to win? I feel very confident. Ooh. Quack, quack, quack. Yes, big W's, massive win incoming. Thank you, Mr. Duck, the CEO of Drive Smart. Soon after, the team was hard at work back at the shop. The DGM team is a family ran business with Mario's daughters, Megan and Madison, managing everything behind the scenes. Now it was time for Kyle Weatherman and the 91 crew to do some photo shoots. With new opportunities, Kyle was given some new gear he'll be roughing for the upcoming season. Everything from new gloves to new shoes, to a new helmet, to a new fire suit. Come along as team owner Mario Goslin is about to give us a behind the scenes tour of everything that goes on in and outside of DGM. What's going on guys? We are here today at DGM with Mario Goslin. We got the number 91 Drive Smart Warranty car for the upcoming season. This thing is a beauty. It looks good. It looks great. So tell us a little bit about it. Well, this is actually uh, Kyle's Atlanta car. As you can see, it's already wrapped. We're waiting on the engine to get here so we can do all the final preparation to it. We're actually working on our Daytona stuff now. We have pit box that we're cleaning up, getting ready. Obviously, got all the branding on it, getting ready for pit road, so it looks 100%. How many days to Daytona? About 23 days. 23 days. So Mario, this is the race hauler. This thing travels for 33 weeks a season. It's wild. How many cars do we fit in this thing? So let's take you upstairs and uh, have a look. This is the top of the trailer. This is where our fuel cans and stuff go up front, and then you put two cars in here, nose to tail. Two cars in here. So typically, where does the pit box go? I mean, we just seen the so, big pit box over there. Where does that thing so go? So all the all the pit boxes and toolboxes will go right down the middle Woo! after everything's loaded and all the cabinets are stocked full of parts and pieces that we need or may need, then we put the pit boxes down the middle, we shut the door and we're off to the race. Quick tour of the trailer to give folks an idea. This is a communications um, cabinet, so this is all the radios and headsets. All the radios. That get used on a weekend. I see everything from decals to radios to tape. This is a lot of people's favorite cabinet here. What is in um, here? This is our snacks cabinet. Of course we got the drinks. snacks. So spring cabinet, you know, 
on a normal basis, we're not allowed to change springs. You know, we're used to you change springs in between practices and stuff. But so you have all different springs. We have uh, shock stored in here. So obviously, there's a lot of people that have to come to these races. You know, crew members, engineers, everything. How many DG Elm crew members are coming to the track every single week? Well, you'll have probably about 15 crew members per car. After practice, you know, we try to debrief with the driver. SMT, which is, you know, our, our data that we get from NASCAR during practice, practice qualifying, all that stuff, we get some SMT data, which shows us, you know, uh, throttle, braking. It actually, we're actually able to compare our car to other cars. I know you're probably wondering where I come in with all of this. I'm a YouTuber myself. Throughout the season, I'll be traveling to all the races, creating content week in and week out with Drive Smart, as well as being a co-host on the Pit Crew podcast that you can catch every Thursday night. Every NASCAR team owner knows that races are often won or lost way before the car even reaches the racetrack. Mario is no exception, knowing his car will need speed and durability in order to conquer a win at Daytona. Here's the thing, we all want to go out there and win. I mean, and we're all preparing, you know, 110%. But, you know, realistically where we're at, I feel like if we can go out there and keep clicking off these top 15s, every once in a while we get top 10, maybe we get top 5 somewhere. I think it'd be a successful season. Mario has been in the ownership game since 1998. But what inspired Mario to open up DGM? Well, it actually started out as a hobby, believe it or not. Uh, I was 16 years old, probably getting speeding tickets on the roads, and uh, decided I need to find a place to, you know, go fast without getting in trouble. And I uh, started going going to the racetrack and, and bought a car, you know, I mean, just, just totally as a hobby, right? And then, uh, you know, did well and got an actual race car and, and did some racing and kept doing well and moved up through the classes. You know, I started, you know, in, in uh, street stocks and moved up to late model, super late model, and, and then from there started touring to different tracks on a touring series. When it led me into, you know, Arca, Arca series and then trucks and Xfinity. And, here we are. NASCAR has a lot of rules and mandates, and you must follow them to a T. Mario has all the tools to make sure that this car meets every requirement before even meeting the track. We put it on here, and we set all the heights that are mandated by NASCAR. In just 23 days, the DGM team's NASCAR season will begin. Next time we'll see car number 91 will be on the high banks of Daytona. Only time will show all the hard work and dedication that this team has put together during the off season. Be sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss everything that goes down at Daytona.